that. But we want to talk to you. And like I said, because of COVID, let's all make our way out to the front, outside, okay? And uh, my, my KGB store is set up out there. And come out there and see us. As soon as we can clear this stage, we can get out there quick, okay? If y'all see us out front, we would love to talk to you. And I want to uh, thank each one of you for coming tonight. And I hope you'll come back and be with us and bring somebody with you. And uh, remember, always put Jesus first in your life. And always love one another. Be kind. Regardless of political differences, we got to love one another. You know, so many people are trying to tear us apart. But we can't let that happen. Stand up. Shake a man's hand. Love him. And, you know, everything will be all right. It's going to be all right anyway. One of these days, it's all going to come to an end. And it could be tonight. And I hope you're washed in the blood. But anyway, I've got a good friend here tonight that's going to close the show out. This is Elvis Week over in Memphis. And this guy right here is a, a he puts on a really good Elvis show. He's a not a, really a, what you call an Elvis impersonator. He's a tribute artist, is what they call it. But he don't have all the makeup and the hair and the wig and the suit tonight, but he's just in street clothes. But uh, I want to introduce my friend now, Mr. Brian Mews, and let him come on out here for you. Come on, Brian. Hello? Hey. Is this thing on? Hey, he does have on mascara. A little bit, yeah. Thanks for pointing that out. I'm gonna step over here. Yeah. <laughs> I've known Kerry for 20 years, and I'm gonna tell you what I really know. I'm glad to see that this thing's on. I was kind of nervous about that. I was gonna get you to check it before I came out, you know? Is there like a talent button he could like push for me to get things working? He can wet your vocal down. Whatever you gotta do, man. Are these guys not fantastic? I'm not something else. I've known Kerry for 20 years. He's one of my best friends. He's really my brother. He's like family to me. And it's so wonderful to be up here with them. I've been to the last three or four shows. We have trouble? Okay. Four score and seven years ago. It's kind of important. Okay. It's just a pleasure to be up here. I guess uh, I've come to the last three or four shows and they finally decided, well, just, just stick him up there, whatever. You know. <laughs> we good? This song was recorded... Uh, uh, tell them about it. <laughs> tell them about it. Elvis. <laughs> There's this fellow named Elvis, you see. And we're a lot alike, except he was really handsome and charismatic and uh, talented and all that good stuff. But. Uh, he recorded this song in 1972, and believe it or not, he had to be uh, talked into doing this song. It was written by a 19-year-old kid at the, song, and at the time, it was something like this.
y'all so much. How about the KGB again? I love this guy, but hey, he's like my brother, he's something else. Y'all come see Brian, he's going to be playing over at uh, Muscle Shows, I think, the 28th. Yeah, we're doing a, uh, a show, it's uh, for Casa, I think, How a Sledge is going to be there in a band called Moon Tree and uh, a Motown band, and uh, it's on the uh, 28th of August. So, uh, y'all come out if you have anything to do, your camera goes out, you get really bored. Appreciate it. Thank y'all. Good night, everybody. We appreciate you.